This year is going to be exactly like 2020 all over again. What makes you say that? Well, the Super Bowl this year has the same teams from 2020 Super Bowl. Hey everyone, Wendigo Studios here, and today we are going to be taking a look at the top 5 Mythical Creatures movie predictions that came true. For this list, we are looking at events in the MCM that are either predicted or are accurately similar to events in real life later on. If some of you are new to the channel or if you haven't seen any of these episodes yet, then a spoiler alert will be issued for this video. Anyway, let's get this started. Number 5. The What's Up Brother Meme Although this is not a prediction, it's actually amazing to see this phrase become a social media sensation. The phrase, What's Up Brother, is always said by Wingo every time he encounters Spikezilla. Hey, what's up brother? Oh, uh, are you serious Wingo? What do you want? The first time Wendigo said the phrase was way back in 2018, and it would later become his infamous catchphrase. Hey, what's up, brother? However, almost six years later, the iconic catchphrase would become an online sensation thanks to the Twitch streamer, Sketch. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Thank you, brother. Of course he did not get it from the MCM, but just like it, the what's up, brother phrase made him an iconic social media sensation. Number 4. The AT&T Outage The plot of this episode is really weird. In the episode, The Unlucky Penny, Garble's Cheerio box gets stolen. And while Garble continues to freak out about it, Wendigo asks why can't he call the investigators? And here's the reason why. why. Why can't you call the investigators? I tried, but they wouldn't answer. I think their phone is disconnected or something. Yeah, Monty, the phone's not working. We get a cutaway of the investigators, Monty and Craig, complaining about their cell phone not working due to a widespread outage in the area. The episode was published in April 2023. However, almost exactly 10 months later, on February 22, 2024, AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile had widespread outages across the United States. And just like in the MCM episode, the outage even cut off emergency calls. Now, the Flagler County Sheriff's Office said they tweeted saying subscribers are having problems calling or texting 911 this morning. Definitely a strange event to occur. Number 3. Donald Trump's Court Verdict on a Friday This is one of Mythical Creatures movie's scariest predictions. In the short special, New Home, Rosie the Rainbow Centipede shares a news report about a certain presidential candidate. We have some breaking news coming at this hour. The presidential candidate that was disqualified from the primary election last year is now back in the race after he signed an appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court. The justices voted 9-0 to put him back in the primary election. After the report, she then asks her camera crew, Crabzilla and Ursa Major, what the next news report is. Then Crabzilla says this. Uh, well, we know that this guy has been indicted for citing a riot when he was disqualified, but recently we found out that he was found guilty. He tells Rosie that the candidate has been indicted for a crime he committed and was found guilty. The special was published on February 9th of this year, a Friday. And exactly a week later, on February 16th, Donald Trump was found guilty of financial fraud and was ordered to pay $350 million in damages. Tonight, a crushing blow to the Trump family's real estate empire. A judge in New York handing down a more than $350 million civil penalty against Donald Trump, plus interest for lying about his wealth for financial gain. While not a criminal case, it's still a guilty verdict. And the events between the two are so accurately similar to one another. Number 2. The Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl 58 win. This might be MCM's most accurate prediction ever. In the special New Home, like I mentioned before, Wendigo argues that the events in 2024 will almost be exactly like 2020, with one of those being the Super Bowl. Well, the Super Bowl this year has the same teams from 2020 Super Bowl, the Kansas City Chiefs versus the San Francisco 49ers. And just like 2020, the Kansas City Chiefs will win. Super Bowl 58 was a rematch between the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers after the Kansas City Chiefs emerged victorious in Super Bowl 54. 
The MCM short special was published two days before Super Bowl Sunday. And just like what Wendigo said, the Kansas City Chiefs did emerge as the winners. Although it almost didn't happen. First and goal. Mahomes flings it. It's there! Hartman! Jackpot! Kansas City! And this was the Andy Reid special. This was the Andy Reid special. We talked about him saving all day. I gotta say, that is a lucky pass, am I right? Number 1. The Presidential Eligibility of Donald Trump Legit, no one saw this coming. In the episode The Unlucky Penny, released in April 2023, Rosie the Rainbow Centipede, who is a news reporter, reported that a candidate running for president has been voted out of the primary election, which means he was disqualified from all the primary ballots. Other breaking news, a businessman who is running for president of the United States has been voted out of the primary. Him and his supporters can't be happy right now. Shockingly enough, eight months after the episode's release, a real news report came out saying that the Colorado Supreme Court voted to disqualify presidential candidate Donald Trump from their state's primary ballot. In an unprecedented ruling yesterday, Colorado Supreme Court disqualified Donald Trump from appearing on the state's upcoming Republican primary ballot. And it was a four to three decision based on a little known provision in the Constitution, Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. Then, a few months later, Trump was then removed in the primary ballots in both Maine and Illinois. Although the Supreme Court ruled that states cannot kick candidates off the primary ballots, it's a major shock to me that the Mythical Creatures movie actually predicted this drama before it happened. It's not the most accurate prediction ever, but the similarities are clearly visible. The presidential candidate that was disqualified from the primary election last year is now back in the race after he signed an appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court. The justices voted 9-0 to put him back in the primary election. But anyway, that is it. That is the top 5 times Mythical Creatures movie predicted the future. If you guys enjoyed the video, then please leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below on what you think was the best Mythical Creatures movie future prediction. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.